Hello children, welcome back to your maths class. Today we will be starting our revision for the preparation of your first summative online examination. Before that, we will be checking the answers of your previous assignment. Today we will be dealing with finding the common factors and finding HCF and LCM. First, finding the common factors of 48 and 28. Here, we will be listing out the factors of each number and from that we will be selecting the common factors. The factors that are common to the two numbers. Then factors of 48. What are the numbers that can divide 48? One can divide 48, two, three. For this, I want you to uh, revise for the divisibility rules, right? Four, what else? Six can divide, seven cannot, eight, nine cannot, 10 cannot, 11, 12 can divide. After this, we have 24 and then 48. This, these are the factors of 48, numbers that can divide 48, right? And next, we will be listing out the factors of 28. What are the numbers that can divide 28? 1, 2, 4, 7, what else? 40 and 28. So from this, we will be picking out the common factors. What are the common factors here? Numbers, the factors that are present in both 28 and 48. 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, So next, 4, present in both. 6, 6 is not here in 28 factors. 8, 12, 24, 28. No more common factors. So the common factors of 48 and 28 are 1, 2, and 4. So this is our answer. Next, we have finding the HCF using prime factorization method. For finding the, the HCF of prime factorization method, 45, you will go to your rough column and prime factorize 45. What can divide? This is the rough column, right? What can divide uh, 45? 3, 1, 5, 3, 5, 5, 1. Then we list out the factors 3 into 3 into 5. Then we have 36. We prime factorize 36 in the rough column again. 2, 1, 8, 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. 2 for 2 times, 3 for 2 times again. Now we are going to find out the common factors first. What are the common factors? Do you remember? 3, the hand like 3, le hemi hi in kop te nga. Right? So an hemi 3 le lai 3 in kop te le nga. And then it's unfair to run it up, one lap and right up. For this 3, we take 3 for 1 time. For this pair, we take 3 for 1 time. Then the HCF of this 2 numbers is 2 3 are 9. 9 is their LC, uh, HCF. Right. Next, finding HCF using long division. In long division method, the smaller number, 39, will divide the bigger number. 39 will divide. 43. We will keep on dividing until we get 0 as the remainder. 39, 1's are 39. We subtract, right? We subtract here. We get 4. 4 will act as the divisor again. Then it will divide the previous divisor, 39. Then 4, 9 times as 36, we subtract 3. 3 will divide the previous divisor, 4 divide, 3 divide, 
three ones are three. We subtract one. One will divide. We will keep on dividing as we said before until we get zero, right? Remainder zero. Ni iman so tihan kan divide song zero nga one here remainder niya so one hand three divide zero right? One three zero three remainder becomes zero. There we will add a division. So the HCF here is the last divisor. One is the last divisor here. So the HCF is one, right? Then finding the LCM using common division here. LCM is not have to be learned only one method. 18, 30, 50. We divide common factors because we will find out. Two can divide them all. 9, 15, 25. What else can divide them? 3. Can 9, 15 divide 25. And but come divide 2 to random dollar of one can. But need divide 2 to 3 and 9, 15 divide 2. So we take 3, 3 times, 3, 5 times. 25 to 3 divide 2 to low value and by in can let her so an engineer divide he 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 le twenty five le five but ni divide he two to five a lot man he three divide he lor one three ngay ngin kan la nga one five one he three lor mo ba in three one ato po one le ibet kan kum three and five divide he lor ba in five then five one 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 LCM is equal to like factors as over you can multiply them. 2 into 3 into 5 into 3 into 5. We multiply all this. 2 3s of 6. 6 5 30. 33 times 90. Multiply by 5 is 450. So the LCM of these three numbers is 450. Right? That is all for today. And no assignment will be given to you since it is a revision. So from this, I want you to practice with lesson 2 and 3 before the next class. Thank you.